Hi everybody, today we're going to be making my famous green, green salsa that I use for um, almost pretty much uh, every um, dish that I make, uh, Mexican or uh, Latin foods. foods. So um, we're going to start by, um, I'm going to tell you what, what are you going to be needing for this um, recipe. So these are called tomatillos and they are kind of like the uh, green tomatoes but a lot stronger and uh, they come in a shell as you can tell and you can buy these tomatillos pretty much in um, everywhere now I find them in uh, Walmart, Kroger um, and a lot of stores they carry them so and of course uh, your Mexican store or your local um, Mexican store as well and we're gonna need I used about, let's see, almost two pounds of tomatillos for um, my salsa. And that's only for the salsa that I'm making today for um, to um, eat with our um, carne asada tacos. And you're going to be needing two um, chilies. Um, I like the spicy ones. These ones are serrano chilies. And um, some people use jalapenos, which is fine. Uh, sometimes I use those too if I am cooking for um, um, for other people. So now uh, this time I'm just gonna use one, just because it's so spicy, and I don't. Um, I have some friends that are here um, to um, eat with us today, so. Anyways, um, but if it was for me, I would pick five of them. <laughs> so now, um, so you're going to be needing um, water. We're going to boil the tomatillos. So just enough to cover the tomatillos. And okay, everybody. Now I'm going to show you after the tomatillos. Um, we left them boil for about 15 minutes in a medium high and this is how they look now for everybody it's going to be different for everybody you might have different stuff that I and um, you might cook your tomatillos differently but in the end this is the color that we want to have and if you can get a little bit closer I'm going to show you the color of the tomatillo uh, um, against the one that is cooked. So, as you can see, this is pretty green. And this one looks kind of like a um, different of green. And as you can see, it's pretty mushy. Some of them, even, they broke. So, now what are we going to do is, we're going to put those tomatillos in the blender where of course um, we're gonna you can drain the water I'm just gonna scoop this tomatillos out of here and then put them in my blender now I like to use a lot of spices in all my dishes but for this salsa I love garlic that's one of my um, favorite spices and as you can see it's not very much of the water in there just uh, the tomatillos and I'm gonna put a little piece of onion it really doesn't matter if you don't like onion you, you can just skip that uh, but I like to put just a little bit of onion and as you can see I put a lot of garlic uh, I already peeled the garlic um, this is the garlic and I peeled it and I got four cloth of garlic and I'm gonna put all of them in there and then I'm gonna be using um, chicken bouillon you can find this in uh, Walmart uh, at your local Mexican store, of course. 
and they come in two different sizes as you can see if you're not going to be needing a lot I use a lot of this in pretty much all my dishes it gives them a little uh, of uh, gives them a, a lot of flavor in my dishes so I really love this brand also you can use all the brands but this brand is specifically I love it and I use this a lot of times as my salt so we're gonna put um, let's see we're gonna put um, a few of these teaspoons of my chicken bouillon and for these I'm just gonna use two teaspoons and just a little bit let's see an eighth uh, one eighth of teaspoon of salt let me use this I'm sorry my I have three little babies and sometimes it's hard for me to make videos as you can understand it's being a mother it's something that you do everything around your babies right so one egg comes in here and then you're gonna put a lot of cilantro this will make your salsa just taste wonderful I um, I love cilantro I mean I love the smell of cilantro and I'm just gonna tear off big piece of cilantro and I'm just gonna put all in there and then after that I'm gonna just put a little bit of my um, jalapeno of my serrano this is a serrano now the serrano is very very spicy so you want to be careful with that and um, I said that I will use a whole thing but I changed my mind. I think half of it will, will do. Um, okay, for the last step now, we're just going to blend all the uh, ingredients. We're going to mix, mix them all together. As you can see, I just did one pulse and then we're going to wait. And then the second pulse. And done. You don't want to mix them or uh, blend it for a long time. Mommy. I like it just where they are all... Mommy. Sorry about the voices. <laughs> My voice are hungry. <laughs> okay, so this is the final product. You guys are going to love this recipe. Uh, my whole family and... Um, my family, my husband's family, they love this also. So, um, I'm going to show you later on um, upcoming videos of, of where you can use this salsa. So we're going to make some carne asada tacos and I hope you enjoy your uh, recipe. Thank you for watching.